What is up, Lojo Fishing fam? We are back at it again today in Walmart. As you can see behind me, we're actually in the fishing section of Walmart, doing one of the most recommended challenges that you guys want to see me do. So the thing you guys have recommended me to do the most, for some reason, is you guys wanted to see me picking my lures blindfolded. Babe, do you have the blindfold? Oh, I've got right, it. Let's take a look and see what we're, looking, what we're working with here. Let's... Oh my God, look, really? This is the one you had to grab <laughs> from the house? That's the one. This is the one right here? That's it. With the, what is that, leopard print? Yeah, this cheetah. Is, <laughs> it could be a cheetah. Holly's gonna have the camera. I'm gonna put on this blindfold. We're gonna walk through. She's gonna kind of guide me around. That way I'm not like picking like a bear hook or something like that. But she's gonna help me pick three lures. And whatever I grab and pick, that's gonna be the lures I have to fish with. Guys, before we get into today's video, I want to talk to you guys about this new app. It's like Instagram, except for people that fish. It's called Fish Brain. You can upload photos, like other people's photos, comment on other people's photos. It's a great way to connect with other anglers in your community. There's an interactive fish map where you can actually go out and see what other people have been catching their fish lately. You can also keep track of all the fish you catch, keep track of the place you catch them, how you catch them, like what lure, what time of the day, all that stuff. It just it collects it over time, so you can go back and refer to it later. You can actually get GPS coordinates of where people are catching their best fish at. I mean, you cannot beat that literal GPS coordinate. There's also an interactive fish forecast. Hey, that's gonna tell you the best time, the best place, and the best lure to throw, no matter what species of fish you are targeting for that day. I do have a fish brain account. I am on at Lojo Fishing, so if you guys wanna come check that out, I'll put a link right in the top of the description if you wanna download this app for free. I actually just dropped two pictures of some very nice fish on there, and I put the exact GPS locations on there as well because I'm a nice guy. I like to give it back to all you people. So, enough of that, let's get into the video for today. All right, dear, I need my blindfold. I need my cheetah. Fabulous blindfold over oh, that's here. Fabulous. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So I need to inspect it to make sure you can't see. Oh, I can't see. Make sure believe you're not me. Leaving any peep holes. No. I... There. <laughs> okay. Do I look good though? That's the real question. You look fabulous. Do I look fabulous? You do. Right. Yeah, let me come get in front of you because I I gotta direct you. Is this a lure? No. That's not. Not quite. Jesus. Easy now. It's not. Okay. Easy. Turn to your left. Your left. Left. Your oh. left ear. Your left. Okay. All right. Walk a couple of steps forward. I don't want to like impale myself. No, you're not. Okay. okay you're good. All right. I yes. Feel front okay. So you're gonna pick, pick some things there, some or things. pick one. Just pick one. I just feel like soft plastic, but I really don't know. Um, just go with your gut. See what feels this right. Feels weird. I don't know. Okay. I'm not looking. What is okay, this? Hold on, let's don't, look. don't even tell me what it is. Just take it and hold on to hold it. On, I'm just, I want to get a good, clear okay. picture of what it is. Okay. All right. All right. And so what? walk forward. Walk towards me. Where are okay. you? Okay. Straight. Keep walking. Stop. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Yep. Keep turning and pick something. This way? Oh, yes. Oh, God. I'm Easy. Right on top of it. Uh, I can't tell what I'm feeling here. There's some interesting sounds here. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. This is like Christmas morning trying to shake your grip. Your presence. Your presence. <laughs> and you never, it never makes a difference. No. Oh, is there more stuff down here? Oh, oh yeah. God. This feels kind of big. I don't know what this is. Okay. Okay. All right. All right let's see weird, what that is. Right? Hold on. Hold it. Let me see. Yep. Is it any good? Are any of these lures any good? I think so. Is the real question. I mean, hell, what do I know? All, All right. right. So we got okay. one more. Face right? forward. Yep. Walk, walk. Stop. Oh. What I was dropped that? Hold on. Turn right. to your left. Okay. okay so and more stuff? Yep, yeah, one more. This is really nerve wracking. It feels interesting. It feels sturdy, like a nice sturdy. Sturdy. Box. Oh my goodness. Okay, what is that? Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Stay right there. All I'm right. gonna hand you your lures and then I'm gonna take your blindfold off so you can see what, what you got, what kind All of right. goodies. Okay, here we go. Moment okay. of truth. Christmas morning. Okay, uh what what is that? That did I pick? That's that? your last one you picked, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got got a little six-inch chartreuse lizard, which is not definitely not bad at all. Pepper. We got the KVD frog, which boom, I'll take a frog anytime I do one of these challenges. But now this thing right here, what is that even? Guys, what is that? Like for real? Rapala floating. What, a floating jointed. Rapala jointed floop dupe. Like that's what that is. <laughs> I, holy smokes. What do you what do you think, babe? Did I do a good job? I think you did a pretty good job. 
Holly approves, hopefully you guys approve. I'm going to get rigged up with these three lures. I'm gonna go out right now, see if I can catch a bass on all three of these lures. Or maybe it should be multi-species because this is kind of hard. Yeah. So, because this thing right here could could catch a multi-species fish. So, we want to catch a bass and everything, but if we catch something else, who cares? All right, let's see if we can complete this challenge, guys. Let go. All rigged up, ready to go. Rit -tit -tiddly -tiddly -do. Feeling a little silly this morning. I think we're gonna start with the old sexy frog first. I really do like the way this frog looks. It's got a uh, nice little color scheme to it. Nice and calm this morning. Some grass around here. Maybe we can, maybe we can get that frog knocked out first. But if history in this challenge has taught us anything, it is I never catch a bass on the first lure that I throw. So. That's a nice bass. That's a nice bass. Ah, yes. Ho, 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 ho. On the frog, baby. <laughs> no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. He choked it, too. Look at that. Choked the frog. He was barely hooked. Oh, my gosh. That guy only stayed hooked by the grace of God. <laughs> Look at that solid chunk right there, guys. That is a nice, healthy fish right there. Boom, beautiful fish, nice colors on him. Solid tournament fish right there. And there he goes. I cast it up into some of that stuff right there. My frog kind of got stuck on like a reed, you know? And as I pulled it off, as soon as it hit the water, I mean, he just came up and wrecked it. Absolutely wrecked it. Boom, baby, one bait down. That is such a relief because like I said in the beginning of the video, I've been having trouble with my topwater lures and past challenges like this. For some reason, I've been having trouble, especially with frogs. So that is a relief to go ahead and get that out of the way. I think I'm gonna throw this crazy little guy around a little bit. I'm gonna save the lizard. I think the lizard might, might be the easier one of the day. This thing, I still don't even know what this thing is. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even cast it. Probably need some spinning gear with this, and of course I don't have spinning gear. It's it's like a floating, like, jointed jerk bait. I'm, uh, you guys tell me. I mean, please, somebody get in the comment section and let me know what are, what are you supposed to do with this thing? I mean, okay, it does float, and it's jointed, so I'm assuming it's, you know, kind of swims, right? I mean, am I crazy or what? Like... I mean, do you like just swim it or do you pop it or, I don't know. It kind of dives. It's almost like a square bill, square bill the way it dives. That's interesting. Oh, 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 there's a little fish. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, a little bluegill. <laughs> what? What are you kidding me? I was just talking about how there's no way this thing's going to work. Oh my goodness. Guys, did you just, did we did we really just see that? Did that really just happen right there? Look at that nice little bluegill right there. He's feisty too. That'd be a nice big bass bait right there. Whee! Boom, baby. And just like that, the crazy lure is down. I cannot even believe that just happened. That was like my second cast with this little floating, shallow diving, multi-jointed crank jerk bait and caught a freaking little bluegill on it. I'm just shocked and amazed. And I said in the beginning of the video how I thought that was be a good multi-species lure just because it was a little bit smaller. It was something that I had really never seen before. But boy, that feels good to get that second lure out of the way. Now all we've got left is the neon lizard. Now, lizards, normally a good lure but this color I, I just i don't know i don't know about these these neon colors i've been getting in these challenges recently i guess they would be good for some dirty water and this this pond has some pretty dirty water in it so let's go with that let's just let's just think that it's gonna work and maybe it will all right guys this is the part of the challenge where i really struggle and this is 
when I'm using the bait that I feel like is going to be the easiest, okay? So I thought the frog would be okay. I thought that little weird rapala, rapala thing was going to be really hard. I thought the lizard was going to be easy, but here we are an hour since I caught that bluegill and man, we are struggling here. So that's typically how it goes. <laughs> Talk about being outside of your comfort zone. These challenges will take you there, I promise you. When you look at this color, you think, oh my gosh, that thing is like fluorescent colored. But you know what? I mean, with this, with this water, it's dirty water anyways, normally, but it rained a lot the other day. So now it's like super dirty. So this color might actually like, it might actually work as I sit here and catch no fish and throw a bird's nest. <laughs> <laughs> stay on there buddy I didn't mean to yank you out of the water like that stay on stay on yes let's go baby oh god he's in his eye I want to get it out I want to get it out all right I got it out of his eye he's good he's good to go trying to eat that nice little zoom lizard thank you buddy you are what a championship winning bass looks like and boom goes the dynamite challenge completed i hope you guys are still watching if you are still watching you're going to want to watch a little bit longer trust me all right ladies and gentlemen obviously i'm all loaded up off the water that's how these challenges are supposed to go normally they don't go that easily but i actually came out here in about an hour and a half was able to complete it. You know, I always give myself two hours, one GoPro battery. So we were able to do it. So good job, you guys, for recommending a blindfolded fishing lure challenge. That's just yet another reminder, guys. Get in that comment section. I'm telling you, give me some suggestions for future videos. This was a suggestion from like dozens of you guys. So I obviously will read your suggestions and I'll take each and every one of them into consideration. Also, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, guys. That's the only way you can let me know if you enjoy a challenge is smashing that thumbs up button, commenting, and of course, making sure you're subscribed and you've got the little bell notification turned on. But let's get to the part that you've all been waiting for. If you're watching still right now, you probably know the deal. I've said it in a couple previous videos, but I'm gonna start giving away all the lures or anything that I use in these challenge videos, I'm gonna give away to you guys. And it's gonna be different each time on how to enter, so you've got to watch till the end so that way you know how to enter. I think last time we did it to where you guys followed me on Twitter. Like I asked you, okay, you know, to enter the giveaway, you go follow me on Twitter and I'll announce on Twitter. So we're going to do something similar like that today because I'm so lonely on my social media. <laughs> Today's giveaway, if you want that frog, the little wake bait from Rapala, and the bag full of Zoom lizards, which that's like $20 worth of lures. You know, that's not, that's not nothing. If you want to enter, all you have to do like my page on Facebook and follow it, okay? Lojo Fishing on Facebook. I'm gonna put a link right in the top of the description. Hit that link, that'll take you right to my page. Hit like, hit follow. Well, actually, it'll probably follow on automatically, but do that, the winner will be announced on Facebook. So that's why it's important to follow my Facebook page. Randomly, I'm just gonna say giveaway winner, boom, your name. And then just send me a message and we'll go from there. Anyways, guys, my arm is getting really tired from holding this camera up, so just let, just know that I love you guys. The channel's growing really fast. That's because of you guys. I hope to see some of you guys at ICAST. I'm going to be at ICAST all this week, so I really hope to see as many of you as I can. I mean, obviously, it's Orlando, Florida, so a lot of you guys are not going to be able to make that trip. But for any of you guys that are in the area, come on out. You know, I'm going to be in the area for a few days. I'd love to meet as many of you as I possibly can. I think the Guggen Squad is doing a big meetup, but I, and I'll be around that area at like the Orlando Convention Center or something like that. I'll have more details on my social media, so make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, anyways, Instagram, and I'll be posting updates while I'm down there. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. On to the next fishing adventure. Big shout out to Holly for participating in this with me. I love you, baby. Fist bump. I'm out of here. <laughs>